prison after more than 30 years could now be facing deportation. As KTV's Rob Roth tells us, the former inmate now works with the homeless and is credited with helping to save someone's life recently. Yes, sir. I do worry about reporting. Lam Hong Lee has an appointment Monday with Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE. He's afraid it could lead to deportation to Vietnam, a country he fled as a boy. I lived in America for 42 years, and now I try to, uh, I try to report me back to Vietnam. I don't know nobody. Six when people were silent. Dozens of supporters rallied at the state capitol Thursday asking Governor Gavin Newsom to grant Lee a full pardon. Lee, who is not an American citizen, served 32 years in prison for a murder he committed while in a street gang. Since his parole in 2019, he's been working at a homeless shelter in San Francisco. He even helped save this man from dying from a fentanyl overdose recently by administering Narcan and CPR. Oh man, I'm thankful for him. I'm very thankful that he was there. Lee's supervisor at the shelter says Lee is reliable and compassionate. Not only a great worker, but he communicates on a deeper level to each of these guests. But Lee could have a difficult fight to stay in the U.S. It is dire because he's facing uh, potentially an ICE arrest and detention. The Asian Law Caucus says the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation does not fall under sanctuary state or sanctuary city guidelines. That allows it to share immigration and release information with ICE. Assembly Bill 937 would stop that practice. The proposal has passed the assembly and is now before the state Senate. It's not California's business to discriminate against immigrants versus non-immigrants and say, well, you're an immigrant, so we're gonna do a favor that we don't have to do to the federal government and subject you to double punishment. Opponents argue that those who commit violent crime should lose the privilege of living in the U.S. As for Lee, he'd like to work with young people and keep them from making the same mistakes he did at their age. I want to do more. I want to go speak to the youth, you know, to the kids, not to join the gang, uh, not to uh, do the drugs. Who he is now, it's not who he was when he committed that life crime. ICE responded to us with an email saying it wouldn't comment on pending cases or the proposed legislation. Rob Roth, KTVU, Fox 2 News.